<laughs> uh, hello, everybody. My name is Chelsea. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm a longtime friend of both Kelly and Greg. Um, a few years ago, when I heard that they had finally gotten engaged, I kind of, without talking to them, uh, started preparing what I was going to say at their <laughs> wedding. And the reason why I felt so entitled was because way back, a long time ago, in Mrs. McDermott's freshman year health class, Kelly came up to me and she just had this crazy look on her face. And she was so excited and so happy about something. She starts talking a mile a minute and it turns out she was telling me about the first time her and Greg kissed. And of course, ninth grade Chelsea's sitting there like, why is she telling me all this? How much longer do I have in this health class? But it's not like we were doing anything in McDee's health class. So I sat there and I listened like a good friend would. And what seemed like several minutes into the conversation, <laughs> I remember getting this gut feeling and I also remember thinking, I bet Kelly and Greg get married. <laughs> and here we are today. <laughs> um, Kelly, it's hard to believe that that was 10 years ago. Um, and for the last 10 years, as creepy as this might sound, um, I feel like I've been watching Kelly and Greg's relationship a little bit closer than most. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, it was in junior high and high school when their friendship really took off. Kelly used to tell me all about how they would talk on instant messenger until the late hours of the night all the time. And that was back when dial-up was still a thing. So, you know, they really wanted to be doing that. <laughs> um, looking back, I could really tell that Kelly and Greg could relate to each other and that it was comfortable and that they always had someone to talk to when they really needed to. By the end of high school, they finally became boyfriend and girlfriend and they were about to face one of the toughest challenges I think any relationship can go through and that's a distance relationship. I remember hanging out with Greg at IU, trying to cheer him up, but it wasn't really until Kelly came down from a visit um, from IUPUI that he seemed to relax. <laughs> I would hang out with them, and I'd watch them catch up and be cute, and I'd be like, Bleh, gag me. <laughs> but I was happy to see them happy. <laughs> Finally, Kelly came to her senses the next year. She transferred to IU from IUPUI. And even though that was probably really hard for them, they just killed that distance relationship. Like two people who were meant to be together really, really would. I'm not, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> um, I was really excited for Kelly to come to IU and we all pretty much ended up living together for the next two years. Um, we had some awesome times. Adventures, seeing our favorite bands at the Bluebird, um, taking my fair-skinned friend to the football games, not to watch football, but to watch Greg play in the marching band. <laughs> um, eating Kelly's homemade pizza that she'd make from scratch. Um, watching Greg, sorry Kelly, watching Greg try to Dutch oven Kelly in the blanket <laughs> while we watch TV. <laughs> um, it was in this time period where I feel like they really learned about compromise and loving unconditionally, and they were really meshing their lives together. Kelly and Greg, I couldn't be more happy for you. <laughs> or more proud. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> the point of everything um, that I've said is that I've watched you guys face some really tough challenges. <laughs> and you guys just knock it out of the park every time. You make it look so easy, and you've always been there for each other. I know this, this will be, I know that this will be a lasting love, because through anything and everything, you guys have always persevered, and you've always come out stronger. Um, it has been my honor to have been that creepy friend <laughs> <laughs> that has watched you guys the last 10 years so closely. I love you. 
Congratulations, finally. I called it. Grelly forever, thank you. I just have to. I'm going to hug you. Thanks, Rodney. You're welcome.